Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be discussing actually some of the shit that I've seen about Black Ops 6. And I was originally going to do a video on the reveal trailer for season one of X Defiant that's coming out, but I really want to get this off my chest because it's been pissing me off immensely over the last couple days. I also just wanted to say right off the bat that I am, yes, I am playing zombies and yes, I fucking hate playing this version of zombies now. I've genuinely like gone from saying it, thinking it's not that bad to I genuinely am just not liking it like very much at all. I just get really bored and I've been doing the same. I walk in, I, pl I play for a couple hours and then I get off. I haven't really been grinding the camo that hard. I did get Borealis. Uh, I'll show you guys after we play this game or I'll show you in like another video, but I do have Borealis. I'm now working on just kind of doing the storyline contracts because after watching a bunch of videos regarding um, Easter eggs and the storyline for Aether Zombies and Chaos and stuff like that, I've actually been kind of interested. So I'm kind of just playing this one. Again, not to like shit on it. It's just I've kind of grown out of having a shit ton of fun and I now have like very little fun. So I'm changing things up to see if it's more enjoyable for myself. I'm working on also doing this for getting the DNA samples for the new event and getting EXP for the Gundam event. Also, this mode is buggy as shit. Like if my fucking car goes underground one more fucking time while I'm driving, I'm gonna lose my fucking it Like I don't have any, like I have a, if you look, I have a small backpack. I have level one armor and like no gas mask, no self revive because I went under the map and I was so fucking annoyed that I literally stopped playing the game entirely. I just fucking stopped. So I know for this contract, I have to do a big bounty contract for a disciple. I'm literally just going to fucking start speedrunning this shit. Ironically, there's not a single fucking one in tier two. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh yeah, I also lost the vast majority of my containment levels. I was like containment level 91 and now I'm containment level five, I think. Well, I still need to do the DNA sample. So I guess until a big bounty contract shows up, uh, I should just kill everything. But I want to talk about some of the stuff that's appearing with Black Ops 6 because I think people are getting way too fucking upset way too quickly for no reason. I mean, we're talking about the goats of Call of Duty are creating this game. If Call of Duty needed something to piggyback off of to make it good, they picked the right team. I mean, this is a solid game. Modern Warfare 2 was pretty fucking... It was it was, it was pretty mid at best. I'd give it like a 5 or a 6 out of 10. I'd stick it in... Like, if I was doing a tier list, I'd stick it in probably B tier. Maybe A tier if I'm being extremely biased. But last year's Call of Duty just wasn't very good. This, I would give a solid, like, high B, low A. I think this is definitely an improvement on Modern Warfare 2. I will also say that this Call of Duty did not need the Modern Warfare 2 weapons in it, and the fact that it has them is very much, like, why? My like, time is just, why does it, why did we include them? This is, this was a glorified DLC. They they said it wasn't supposed to be, but it, it is. It kind of, I, I'll, I'll admit, I kind of felt, I don't want to say let down, but I definitely felt as if I was expecting more for paying $70. But, I mean, the mastery cam was really nice. Zombies was fun for, I would say, 80% of my grind. And then it's just not. It's no longer the competitive fun experience that I know. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm, I'm fucking just going on and on. I just want to go off, off the bat right now and just say this flat out. This Call of Duty will probably either be the beginning of a new something amazing for COD back to like the glory days, or this will be a piece of shit. I've seen a lot of people complaining about stuff right off the rip. I just, I don't really understand why it doesn't really make much sense to bitch about a game that hasn't even come out yet. Like you can be concerned, but to actively sit there and shit on the game and complain that it hasn't even come out, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And the first thing I want to talk about is complain about the file size. I've seen a lot of people complain about the file size of the game because there's a lot, there was rumors going around like, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be 300 gigs if you want to play the game and you're gonna have to do this that and the other and all this other shit and you're like like okay i don't know a game on the planet that is taking 300 gigs i'm sorry i genuinely and i'm not even saying that to be rude and mean but i think i own one game that's even close to that size and that's arc arc is a massive game there's the i don't understand i don't understand why it's a massive game but that's one game i own probably across my switch and my my PC and my PlayStation of all the games I've owned and everything, I probably own between 300 and 400 games. And I don't think I have a single game that is like 300 gigs other than maybe art. I have games that are 100 gigs and I have games that are like getting up to the 200 mark, but no game I own, I've owned is 300 gigs. And 
like, th think about it. Call of Duty is not going to be the first game that's like, yes, I can't wait to fucking, you know, free up and uninstall like five or six games on like my console if I was to play it on console. And also, if you guys had paid attention to the fact that like in Modern Warfare 3, you can delete certain aspects of the game that you're not gonna play. Like, you can delete um, Modern Warfare 2, the campaign, you can uninstall zombies. I'm pretty sure you can uninstall zombies. I know for a fact you can uninstall the Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops. You can uninstall that. You can uninstall different aspects of the game so it's a smaller size. That's what I've done. Now, am I saying that these massive file sizes are okay? Absolutely not. Do not get that, I, that impression. I'm just saying that if you're gonna criticize the game, Criticize it for what it, you're supposed to be criticizing it for. Like falling through the goddamn map when I'm driving through a map in which you've already created. Now you want to sit there and be like, oh, well, we never touched it. Like, what do you, like, this, this is the fucking Warzone map. And when people said it, and when people said it was going to be on the Call of Duty app, you can safely assume that it's going to be on there. You can safely assume that, that it's going to work the same way. You can uninstall certain parts of the game. Like when Modern, when Black Ops 6 comes out, I'm uninstalling Modern Warfare 3. I don't care. I'm going to uninstall this game and I'm going to play only Black Ops 6. Why? Because in my opinion, this game, we're not in that golden age of Call of Duty anymore where I have to go back to other CODs to get what I need. I've also seen some other complaints on them bringing back old features. My first thought is, what the fuck are you talking about? They're bringing back the classic prestige system. They're bringing back the classic three lane maps. They're bringing back all these things that anyone who's played Call of Duty for a long time knows it should never have changed. I'm going to... Thank Jesus Christ, this fucking game, man. I am getting so frustrated with shit in this game that should never have been changed or is breaking. Like, oh my, I can see it in the background of the fucking map. Why? That shit, that right there is one of the major reasons why I don't want to play this mode. I can't even play it fluidly. It fucking blows and it annoys the shit out of me because I don't like driving through the fucking map, then falling through the ground. And every now and then when I do fall through the ground, I sometimes go into this parachute mode where like my character looks like he's parachuting down and such, but in reality, I'm not. I'm just floating and hovering very high off the fucking ground. That should not, I'm sorry, with how much money this company has and with how much they do involving the game, that should never be a thing, ever. I love Call of Duty as a franchise. I genuinely do. There's a reason I've, I've kind of found myself going back to it constantly. And I'll admit, I really like Call of Duty. Constantly used to fight it and be like, ah, oh, Call of Duty's not what it used to be. I'm not going back, I'm not going back, I'm not going back, blah. Blah, 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 blah. And what do I end up doing? I end up putting f days on days of playtime into every COD, except 2019 and Vanguard, where I took a break and lo and behold, I just fucking came back. I'm gonna. I hope and pray with all my soul that they never have events for collecting shit again. Because if I have to play multiplayer to collect all my stuff, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Because this is ridiculous. Like why, why am I falling through the map? That's the last time I'm gonna show it in the video. If it fucking happens again, I'm just, you guys are just gonna instantly ra cut to a part of me fucking just screaming. I should have done a video on the Modern Warfare 3 uh, season four trailer, but I didn't because I was moving and I just kind of like, well, why are you guys complaining about the old stuff coming back? The only, the people I see complaining about it are like the people who, the new Call of Duty players who are playing the game for the first time and they've gotten used to the seasonal system and they like it. And then their, your progression as a player in terms of leveling and such is hard capped. Whether you want to admit it or not, it is. And the quicker you go to realize that and realize that this classic prestige system is going to help you and not hard cap your progression as a player, the the w the better things are going to appear. I promise you that. If I go down here, I'm going to leave the game again and I'm just going to go play multiplayer. Oh god, I'm actually going to go down here. Oh shit. Okay.